Hi, my name is Nicole and I'm head girl here at Sammy Ward. Welcome to our virtual tour. Hi, I'm Finn. This is reception. Or you have to sign in if you're here late or need to leave early for whatever reason. So we introduce them to lots of different themes that they can associate themselves with and also relate to and resonate with, like um, uh, bullying, uh, certain issues around uh, uh, growing up and, and, and social issues and so forth. And it almost um, teaches students a way to integrate with groups uh, and become confident in themselves, confident as, as people as, um, and, and also in regards to performers as well. I think um, if you think about drama within Year 7, it's not really about teaching them to be actors, it's more about teaching them how to respect each other, how to uh, be, become more uh, confident. But uh, at the same time, uh, it's also really, really fun. I would be disappointed if someone had a year of Year 7 drama and said they didn't enjoy it. Uh, there are lots of creative opportunities uh, for Year 7s and Key So Street to take part in. We do uh, a drama club after school and one of the enrichments. We also open uh, Key Stage 3 up to a Key Stage 3 production. Uh, the Christmas concert, summer concert, we've got um, uh, all those sorts of things that they can be involved with and also the big production. Yeah, Year 7 music. Um, now, this is something um, that I am hugely passionate about. Uh, all the topics are very, very much hands-on. Uh, there's an introduction to music in the first couple of um, half terms where you get um, to learn about the theory of music but also that leads on beautifully well to learning how to play the keyboard, learning how to play the ukulele, learning how to play the, um, the guitar, learning how to play African drums, <coughs> the African drum so, and how to uh, take part and play um, uh, a percussion uh, role in, in samba and it's just so so brilliant and towards the end of year seven that's when um, students get the chance to actually use you can't really see them but these are the Macs with um, uh, composition software on there so, comp so the students can actually have a go at playing, recording and composing their own stuff and it is just absolutely brilliant. Um, apart from lessons uh, the music extracurricular, in my opinion, is really, really exciting. Miss um, Ryan, who's the other music teacher, runs a, um, a chamber choir. Mr Radford also runs uh, the Young Persons Orchestra. There's also a swing band, and there's also a choir, which at the moment we've got, I think there's 92 people in the choir, and anybody can join that, year 7 to year 13. Uh, and it's just, um, I think music here in the last couple of years has really, really thrived. I think. I'm Mr. Sari, I'm one of your PE teachers at Sami Ward. Now, these are departments, and this is where the school's heart beats. All the excitement it happens here. When you come in September, we'll be offering you loads of activities, these activities that you may not try it before. Plus, those of you who want to take more activities, we're going to offer limitless after school clubs. Plus, you're going to have opportunity to represent your schools in different activities from cross country to football to netball, you name it. We can't wait to welcome you in P department. Thank you. Hi Year 6, it's Mr Williams, Head of Art and Design at Samuel Academy. Lovely to see you. Well, I can't physically see you, but you know what I mean. Um, if you get a chance, go to YouTube Samuel Academy and you'll be able to see exactly what you're going to be doing when you come up to this school and join us. Uh, we're work principally working through something called prep learning, which means that you can actually design your own projects and work on them both in school and at home. Take a look around the art room. Lovely to speak to you. Bye-bye. When you come to Samuel Ward, you will be paying for your fee via a biometric finger scanner. This will allow your parents to put money in your account via pair of pay, and then when you collect your food, all you need to do is place your finger on the scanner card. Here at Samuel Ward, there's a wide range of food available. The best thing to look forward to is chips on a Friday. In addition to this, there's also a wide range of snacks available, for example, fruit pots and cookies.
Hello Year 6, welcome to the History Department, we can't wait to see you in September. In Year 7 History, you get to learn about a lot of England's past. For example, you get to learn about the Norman Conquest and Magna Carta. There are also lots of additional opportunities on offer. For example, you can join the History Club or go on school trips. School trips are offered to all year groups. What will you learn in Year 7 Geography? When you join us in Geography, you'll have three lessons a fortnight, so you'll have three hours of Geography over the course of two weeks. What we do is we start off with teaching you our first topic, which is called Welcome Home. This explores things like map skills and also has a look at those basic skills you'll need in Geography, like being able to use an atlas, draw a map, do things like four and six figure grid references to get you all up to speed with everything you're going to need to know to move forward in Geography. It doesn't matter what you've done in terms of Geography at primary school because we use this topic to get you all to the same point. After Christmas, we then move to have a look at extreme environments. You might have studied some of these topics at primary school. It's things such as having a look at rainforests, having a look at cold environments, and also having a look at deserts. You get to do lots of nice things like design your own animal that's adapted to those environments, and also do skills such as looking at things like climate graphs. Our final topic is development, and for that you have a look at the world, have a look at rich and poor countries and why they are rich and poor, and then we have a look at China in particular and how China's developing, and then also Lesotho, which is a country in Africa. Why is geography such a great subject? Geography is a really great subject because it's really relevant to the world that we live in. We study a lot of topics that are really important today, such as climate change, globalisation, population, things such as that. It's also something for everyone because we cover both physical and human geography. Physical geography tends to be things like natural disasters, earthquakes, volcanoes, rivers, that sort of thing. And human geography is things like population development, so people usually find something that they enjoy doing. In our department there's five geography teachers. There's myself, Miss Bramhall, there's the head of subject, Mrs Cavilla Perkins, and then three other teachers, Mr Palmer, Miss Renee and Mrs Osborne. Don't just take my word for it though, I've got some quotes here from some current Year 7 pupils. They say that they really enjoy geography because it covers so many topics, extreme environments, migration, impacts on the world around us, and they also say the staff in the geography department are encouraging, helpful and supportive. What clubs do we run in geography? The main club that we're running at the moment in geography is Eco Club, which I run. This club is having a look at how we can improve the environment around our school. What we're looking at at the moment in particular is how we can reduce the use of single-use plastics. This is things like disposable cutlery and things in the canteen and things like bringing your own drinks bottle to school. Uh, welcome Year 7, um, well Year 6 at the moment. Uh, I'm Mrs Holmes and I look after the Languages Department and we are really looking forward to welcoming you to uh, join us. Uh, you'll be learning French and we've got some nice things for you to get involved in. Lots of speaking, particularly in the first term. Uh, you're lucky enough that this year there will also be a nice trip, hopefully, to France in uh, May time, which is residential, so you'll be hearing about that soon. Um, and you will find that all the teachers love teaching their language, love um, getting you to speak and get involved. And we really look forward to welcoming you with us so that you can become good French speakers. Hello Year Sixes, um, my name is Mr Ran and I'm Head of DT and Food at Samuel Ward Academy. Um, this is Design Technology Workshop um, and very soon you'll be coming here and I'm looking forward to seeing you all and teaching you. Um, why is DT brilliant? Well it's brilliant because you get to use all these different exciting tools and machines and work with different, different materials um, to produce really fun and exciting projects. Um, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Uh, look forward to seeing you. Hello, I'm Miss Letts and I'm one of the English teachers here at Samuel Ward Academy. We really look forward to you starting in September. Uh, you'll be covering a range of topics in English. We're going to start off with some Greek mythology, followed by War Horse by Michael Morperga, which is an excellent book, then a 19th century text and finishing the year, of course, with the legend that is Shakespeare. We can't wait to see you. 
Hello, uh, we are just wanting to say how excited we are to have you joining us in September um, and how much we are looking forward to working with you. I'm Miss Island, I will be your new head of year in September. Um, I'm also a PE teacher, as you can see from my dress. Um, so if you can't find me in the Year 7 office, you'd find me in the PE block. My job is basically to make sure that you are happy, you are safe, that you are engaging with your learning and that you have excellent attendance and behaviour. I'm Miss Cripps. I'm going to be your inclusions officer. I will be found in the Year 7 office, which is on the first floor of B Block, which you will learn where that is very, very quickly. Um, and I'm there to support you, to make sure you're all right and happy. Any concerns, any worries, anything you need help with, come and find me, email me, and we're there to support. So some of you might have a few worries about coming up in September, a few things that you're not sure about. Um, the first thing to mention is please don't worry about uniform. With the current situation, we aren't expecting you to be able to get your full uniform ready for September. So there'll be a few weeks while you know you might be in non-uniform, but there'll be information sent out about that. Um, also, you might be worried about meeting new friends and um, you know not knowing as many people. It's it's a much larger school with more people about um, but please don't worry about that you'll have your tutor group where we try to put you with friends and then in your classes you'll soon pick up that there will be people that you're sharing classes with and and everyone's in the same boat so they'll all want to get to know new people as well um, you might also be a little bit worried about getting lost again don't worry we still get lost on a daily basis and <laughs> um, you'll be given a map and also your teachers will be aware for the first few weeks that you you might struggle to find your way to different lessons but if you ask anyone on site if you're struggling to find your classroom they'll be able to help you and another thing the flip side of that is there's loads of positives i mean as miss says it is scary meeting new people and going into new classes but it's also a brilliant opportunity to make new friends and to you know you might find your new best friend it'll be amazing and i'm sure you're gonna have a cracking time with that there's also lots of opportunities with clubs and our enrichments on uh, tuesdays or thursdays so you've got lots of things to look forward to and get excited about too we have lots of leadership opportunities as well, so you can become an ambassador, um, you can help give tours of the school, interview new teachers, you know, boast about all the brilliant things you've been doing. Um, we have reading ambassadors, if you like to read and want to promote reading across the school, anti-bullying ambassadors, if you want to help make sure that school is a really kind place to be, um, and also eco ambassadors for those of you who are environment conscious and want to help become a plastic free site. Um, we also have lots of other leadership roles such as sports leaders um, and language leaders, digital leaders, loads of opportunities for you to get involved in. Well we hope that helps and answers any questions that you might have for us. Um, anything else you can find our email address on the website and we're really looking forward to seeing you in September. Take care. Hi, I'm Mr. Stiff, uh, science teacher here at Samuel Ward, and this is Enzo, our Crested Gecko. Um, when you come up to Samuel Ward, you'll do lots of different science topics. So we look at how the body works, and we look at how electricity happens and how it moves around so you can use phones, computers. We also look at chemical reactions, so some explosions, how things set on fire, and what everything around you is made of. We'll look at forces, so how things interact and move around, and we'll look at things like motion and speed, which sort of come into your day-to-day -day lives in cars or walking around. Hello Year 6, my name is Mrs Nichols, and I'm a maths teacher here at Samuel Ward, so I may be teaching some of you in Year 7. When you start at Samuel Ward, one of the first topics you'll start on is sequences, and then we'll be looking at topics like algebra and geometry. Look forward to seeing you. Hello, Year 6. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to meeting you all in person. I'm sorry we haven't met yet, but of course we can't do it at the moment. Um, I hope you're finding your transition visits and videos useful. Uh, some of you are probably a little bit worried that you're going from being the biggest, most mature, most grown-up children in your current schools to be the youngest children in your secondary school. But I want to reassure you that as far as I'm concerned, you're going to be the most important people in the school in September because year seven in a school are the future of the school. So I think you're extremely important people. Uh, I'm looking forward to a really successful five years together. 
helping you to become the best versions of your grown-up selves that you could possibly be. See you soon.